Coming up, the latest polling data from YouGov gives a very interesting picture of how well British adults think Brexit is going. Keep watching. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe and get notified of new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Apart from a brief period in March last year, YouGov's tracker of how well the British public think the government has handled Brexit shows a majority thinking it has been handled badly. In the week to 14th of June, the net disapproval rating doubled from 7 to 15% compared to a week earlier. This is probably due to the ramifications of Liz Truss's appalling Australian trade deal becoming clear, as it paves the way for meat imports from Australia, produced to a lower standard of animal welfare and hygiene, plus with less controls on pharmaceutical intervention. With the higher standards we enjoy in Britain, our farmers won't be able to compete with this mass-produced meat from Australian megastations and will be forced to close their farms and sell up their land. In unrelated news, as reported in our video last weekend, the Tories are accepting multiple donations from property developers like Bloor Homes, which appears to be buying a government effort to ease planning restrictions in greenfield areas, for example by removing local rights of appeal against planning decisions made in Whitehall and a so-called streamlining of the planning approval process. Hmm, I wonder who'll be buying up all that pristine farmland in the current housing boom. But back to the latest YouGov data. Only 5% of British adults think that Brexit has gone very well. That's only 1 in 20, but still surprising in a way. I mean, on what criteria could anyone say that Brexit has gone very well? Four times as many respondents, 20%, think that Brexit has in fact gone very badly so far. A total of 25% of people, one in four, think that Brexit is going very well or fairly well, against a total of 38% who think it's going very badly or fairly badly. But it gets even more interesting when you drill down into the data. By region, in London, only 18% of people think it's going well, while in Scotland the number is even lower, at 13%. Of course, both London and Scotland voted heavily Remain in the advisory referendum, so maybe it's not surprising. If we look at gender, no huge differences apart from among the small number of respondents who said that Brexit was going very well. In that group, there were twice as many men as women. So much for this new feminine-led future that Alexander Boris de Feffel says he wants. On social grade, not too much to note other than the 24% of people in the ABC1 grades are pining that Brexit is going very badly, against only 4% who said it's going very well. And finally, on political affiliation, no Labour or Lib Dem voters felt that Brexit is going very well. And even among Conservatives, the figure was only 11%. By contrast, 42% of Labour voters and 38% of Lib Dem voters thought it was going very badly, along with 2% of Tories. Probably the most interesting aspect of this drill down into political affiliation is the figure for Leave voters. Only 10% of Leave voters think Brexit is going very well, and a total of 45% of them think Brexit is going very or fairly well, which means that 55% of them must be disappointed that we've gone through all this, torn families apart, spaffed billions of pounds, ripped the four nations of the United Kingdom asunder, removed British citizens' rights to live, love and work in 27 other countries, jeopardised the peace process in Northern Ireland, and despite all that, all this wonderful sovereignty and control we've taken back still doesn't seem to have made up for it. And of course us Remainers would never be so smug as to say we told you so. Amongst Remain voters, two thirds think Brexit is going badly and zero think it's going very well. Let's just remember as well that the worst effects of Brexit are still being camouflaged by the pandemic and its various restrictions. And also, we are still to see the full Brexit regulations imposed later in the year as all the grace periods on trading regulations expire. The figures I've gone through in this video are only heading in one direction, and the will of the people will become ever more obvious as the economic and social situation in this country continues to worsen even after lockdown restrictions are lifted.